Good morning, Andrews family. It is Thursday. I hope you're having a great start to the morning. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day outside. No snow on the ground today, so that is a bonus. Today, I'm going to read you a story called The Bully from the Black Lagoon. Before I start that, I looked up today's kind of quirky holiday and did you know that today is national high five day so boom right there there's a high five it's also national wear your pajamas to work day today so guess what i'm wearing my pajamas <laughs> i bet some of you are too oh the bully from the black lagoon there's a new kid in our school his name is butch pounder and he's supposed to be a terrible bully Kind of an intimidating name, Butch Pounder. Look, there's a picture over here on the side. I wonder if that's Butch. I haven't seen him yet, but I heard he's almost as big as Coach Kong. At his school, he was on the football team. In fact, he was the football team. Let me check out that. It says crunch time. Help! I don't feel so good. He was sent to the principal's office so often that he had his own desk there. They say he transferred from the state pen and has a record. Rumor has it that he beat up every single kid in his old school twice and ate the teacher's pet. I don't want to get beaten up even once. I can see it now. In art class, he'll take all the crayons. And in library, he'll take all the books. In the cafeteria, he'll take our lunch money and eat all the food. Then he'll just get bigger and bigger. Right there, he's saying, pay up. At recess, he'll put little kids into orbit by sitting on the seesaw. Then he'll kick us in kickball, sock us in soccer and use us for bases in baseball. After recess, we'll have to be resuscitated. Get it? Resuscitated? Oh, man. Sounds like one of my morning jokes. Resuscitated. At our school dance, he'll be the punch. And at our school carnival, he'll be the carnivore. We'll spend half our time in the nurse's office and the other half hiding in our lockers. Man, look at all those kiddos that are banged up. They're all holding a number to get to the nurse's office. On the school bus, he'll take up all the seats. We'll just stand with our crutches in the aisles. Then he'll get off at my stop, follow me home and eat my snack. What will I do? I can lift weights and learn karate and kung fu, which will make my hands into lethal weapons. Hi -ya! I can take tailspin to school. He could lick them. Or I could just wear armor. With my luck, he'll sit right behind me in class. Then he'll push, pull, poke, and pinch me all day. And if I tell Miss Green, 
He'll ram slam, jam, and bam me after school. I know what I'll do. I'll practice running. I'll become so fast that he'll never catch me. And I'll start right now. I run down the hall, turn the corner, and wham! Uh-oh. What do you suppose he ran into? I bump, bump right into Butch Pounder. Oh no, he is big. I bounce right off him. He picks me up with one hand. My name is Butch, he smiles. I just transferred from the state of Pennsylvania, and I'm new in school. My name's Hubie, I grin. I'm old in school. I'm lost, he sighs. Do you know where Miss Green's class is? I sure do, I answer. Follow me. By the way, Butch, do you really have a record? Yeah, I have lots of record, he smiles, and a record player. Cool. Could I hear them sometime, I ask? Sure, Hubie, if you promise not to run into me anymore, he laughs. Deal. I smile, and we walk down the hall, shaking hands. Look at that. It doesn't look like Butch Pounder was really as bad as everybody started or made it sound to be, right? But remember, you can't always believe the things that you hear, friends. All right? Just like in that story, he made a new friend. And it all worked out in the end. All right, friends. Well, it's Thursday. It's almost time for the weekend. I hope you're doing well for your parents, working hard on that schoolwork. <clears throat> hope to see you in some Google Hangouts today. Have a great day. I look forward to seeing you again soon.